We can think of the atmosphere as a mix of all sorts of gases that surrounds our planet. Some gases that humans produce can have bad effects on the planet, including changing the climate and weather. Many of the human-produced gases are called greenhouse gases. These are gases that trap heat and energy from the sun. Hi, my name is Eric. Uh, I'm an atmospheric scientist. Uh, I study climate and greenhouse gases. My group's research, we really try to understand what's impacting the atmosphere and how that impacts climate. Eric and his team study the atmosphere and measure the levels of gases that make it up, including greenhouse gases. The goals are to better understand where harmful gases are coming from. But first, they have to collect gases in the atmosphere. And to do this, they collect samples of air using special tools. Our instruments are designed to measure the contents of the atmosphere. Much like a weather station would measure wind or rainfall or snowfall, our instruments are designed to measure the molecules, the components of the air that we're actually in. These instruments are able to take snapshots of the amount of different gases in the atmosphere at a given time, which helps scientists investigate sources of greenhouse gases. But since Eric and his team are thinking about the atmosphere, they have an interesting approach to collecting their samples. We have instrumentation that we'll put in different places. Sometimes we'll put it on an airplane and we'll actually fly the airplane around to different regions that we're interested in studying the sources. We'll collect air into inlets on the side of the airplane and actually measure it on instruments in the airplane. By collecting samples in flight, they are able to identify different emission sources that may not be measurable on the ground. Pretty cool. But how does collecting air above the ground tell us about what is happening on the ground. We can think about it like this. Bees fly around from flower to flower. As they fly, pollen gets attached to them. If we looked at a bee after a day of flying around, we would be able to tell where it had been by looking at the types of pollen it collected. Eric and his team are kind of like bees. They fly around, collecting samples of air, and the samples are able to tell us about what is in the air they spend a lot of time flying and collecting samples over farms. For this project, we very much want to understand the impacts of how we grow our crops on the atmosphere. So in order to grow crops, you need to plant seeds. You might put quite a lot of fertilizer down. A lot of the nutrients from fertilizer go into the growing of the crops, but not all of the nutrients make their way into the crops, and a number of them are lost to the atmosphere. By focusing on flying over farms, they are able to tell if the fertilizers that farmers are using are good or bad for the atmosphere. As we get towards answers, we can help inform farmers on what are optimal practices to have them both get their best crop yields, but minimize the losses to the atmosphere. But their research doesn't just stop at farms. They also fly over cities and other areas. We'll fly downwind of cities to try to understand how much is being emitted from all the cars and vehicles in the city, how much is coming out of landfills and power plants. This research is important because in order to understand how the atmosphere is changing, we have to understand what is making it change. This research helps us determine where the problem is so we can fix it. But don't let just the scientists do it all themselves you can help reduce your impact on the Earth, too. So if one is concerned about what impacts you have on the atmosphere, there are different actions that can be taken. The most important thing is to simply be cognizant and aware of what you're doing. Being aware of subtle things, leaving light bulbs on, leaving the TV on when you're not watching it. All of those small things do add up, but there's also simply power in being aware of the problem and then collective action that can come out of that. Do you want to be a scientist like Eric and his team? Try making your own sampling device.